Imagine if you could create a survey that only showed the questions that were relevant to the responder. In this video, I'm going to show you how right after this. Hi, my name is Tony and this is my channel Ready Steady Excel. If you want to learn how to get the most out of these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell, we'll put you on the right track. In today's video, we're going to look at Microsoft Forms to create our survey. And in Microsoft Forms, it has a nice little feature called branching, which allows you to add like a, a condition to your question. So based on an answer to a question, it will then lead the responder onto a question that's relevant. When we've created our survey, there will be a link available, which we can then email out or put in an instant message or put on an intranet page. But I'm also going to show you how you can add it as a tab into your channel in Microsoft Teams. Okay, are you ready? I know I am. Then let's go. We'll create our survey in Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms is available to Microsoft 365 account holders, and this includes school, work, and personal accounts. Although with personal accounts, you don't have the same amount of settings. We've got two options here, new form and new quiz. New quiz I've covered in a separate video, which you'll find at the end of this one. Today we're looking at surveys, so I'm going to click on new form. The first part of this form is to put in a title. So if I click into there and give it a title, you've also got a field here for a description to describe what this survey is all about. Uh, I'm going to leave that one as it is. I'm sure you get the idea. And I'm going to click add new to start adding my questions. You've got a range of question types to choose from. So you've got multiple choice, you've got text based, you've got rating, you've got date. And if I click on the drop down here, you've got more questions available. For this first question today, I want a multiple choice. So I'm going to click on this one. So I'll simply just type in my question. Microsoft Forms is pretty clever. It will suggest, suggest possible answers to this question. Now, if I wanted to, I could free text type them here into option one and option two, um, or I can just simply just click. So I'm happy with these ones. So if I click yes, I'm going to click no. And for this one, I want to make it a required. So I want people to complete this question. Otherwise, I can just skip through. So that's the first question in. So next, I click add new. And this time, I want a section. So I recommend that you build all your questions first before you start getting into the branching. I'm going to give it a, a section title. And again, you could put a description in there if you wanted to, but I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click Add New. And this time, I'm going to go for a text-based question. And again, I'm going to make this question required. Right, I'm going to add another section. Click on the drop-down section. Give this one a title. And I'm going to click add new to put my question in. And I'm going to go for a multiple choice this time. Pop in my question. So this time Microsoft Forms hasn't given me any suggestions. So I need to type them in. So I'm going to click here, type in my answers. Third option, but this time I'm going to say add other option. Uh, so this will allow people to free text type in uh, that answer there for other. So people might use more than one form of travel uh, to get to work. So this time I'm going to make this multiple answers, so they can select more than one answer from this list. I'm going to make this one required. Okay, just going to add one more section. And this time I'm going to choose a rating. So that's my question in here. So at the moment it's just showing us five stars, but I can change this. So if I don't want it to be stars, I can click here and change it to number. If I want to have more, more of a scale, more of a rating, the way it says levels, I can adjust. So I'm going to put this up to 10 and adjust it accordingly. So that's the, that's the questionnaire or the survey all set up. If you wanted to, you could preview it by clicking here, just have a look. And as you can see, because I've broken it down into sections, sections are doing it page by page. So it's not going to get it all on one on one page, which is useful. Uh, so let's go back to sort out the branch in. And then we'll see how this survey works. So for the branch in, if I click on here, and if I click down here at the bottom for more options, then I can click add branch in. So this allows me to set rules for where the question will go to next. So what you're doing here is you're leading 
the user onto the next question that is relevant to them. So if I click add branch in, so if this person selects yes, they do use public transport, then I'm gonna send them to the public transport questions. If they say no, I'm gonna put them to the non-public transport questions. So that's that one. And then onto the next section. So when they complete this section, I want them to go to additional questions. And then when they complete this one, and then change this to additional questions, which will then lead them to section four. And then when section four is complete, that'd be the end of the form. Okay, so let's test this one out now. Scroll to the top and let's click back. I'm gonna do preview. So let's go through this now. So would you normally use public transport to travel to work? So I'm gonna say yes, click next and it brings up the public transport questions. So I can click on my options here. And if I click next, it will take me to the last page. So I can choose my score, press submit, done. Let's try that one again. But this time I'm gonna say no to public transport and let's see where it takes us. So if I click next, it takes me to the non-public transport questions. I can put my answer. Click next, and this takes me to additional questions. And again, I can choose my rating. Okay, so that was the preview. Other things to mention, if you wanted to, you can add like a theme. So if I go to theme here, it's a selection of themes to choose from. So let's go for this bus, as it's all to do with travel. Next, let's have a look at the settings. So if I click here for more options, you've got settings. So just to explain what you've got here. So by default, because I'm using a work account, it's allowed me to share it with, with my organization. So I've got the option there to record people's names, but if I wanted to make this survey anonymous, then I could deselect that one. But what it does, it will capture the person's name and email address. If I want to make it public, then I can select this top option here. Now with the public option, it won't automatically capture their name or address. So if you want to capture people's names and addresses, this is what you need to do. You need to add another question. So I'm gonna add a new question. This time I'm gonna put in text. And at the moment it's below the public transport question. So I'm just gonna move this above it, clicking this arrow. And I'm gonna say, enter your name. So that's their name. And if I wanna capture their email address, let's put another one in. And there we have it. And it's just a preview how that looks. Uh, going back to settings, let's show you what else is there, except responses. So at any point you could just manually switch off this survey. If you've sent it around already, you could just stop receiving responses and you could put a little message in there to say um, that the survey has, is finished. You can also set a start and end date. So when this survey will start and finish, you can customize a thank you message you can also choose to receive a notification there as well. And whether the people that respond to this survey, whether they get an email notification too. Okay, so when it comes to sharing, if I click share, it does generate a link that you can share. So if you wanna pop that link into an email, then you can, or if you wanna put it into a website, then you can do that. But uh, what I'm gonna show you now is how to share it in Microsoft Teams. I'm gonna add this survey to a team here that I've got called Ready Steady Excel. And to add it to the general channel, I just click on the plus, which allows me to add a new app. I then click forms. And from here, I'm gonna select add an existing form. And there's my return to the office survey. And then down here, I can collect responses, which is what I want, or I can have a results page. So I'm gonna go for collect responses and then click save. And what this does is it will add it as a tab to my channel and if i want to i can rename this as well because it's not sometimes it's not very clean how it's named so i can click here and just rename it also got the option there to remove it but let's go to rename okay so just one last thing to cover off uh, responses so where do they go so the responses if you go back into your form there is a tab here called responses so you can see the results here you can see who responded you can also download it into an Excel spreadsheet. So you can have a look at the, the replies that you've got. And if I click here for more options, you can delete all responses. 
So if you've been testing this survey, you can delete the responses. You can print a summary and you can also create a summary link, which you could then share. So this will then show people the results of the survey. And this survey, if I click up here, forms will be available here. So that's where it saves it to. So whenever you open up Microsoft Forms, it'd be there for you to see. Now, if you want to learn how to create a quiz, then watch this video here. Or if you want to learn how to create a quick poll, then watch this video.